Hey y'all, welcome to the third location of the Wild West True Story. So Pedro has managed to escape the town of Chihuahua. Now we are in a bank in a desert. He wants something, which is money because we are in the bank after all. Hmm. So to reach Oregon, where we have free land, we need some money. So that's what we are here to seek. Hmm. That is some note. Go to the treasure is hidden next to the northwestern golden angel in the what? Northwestern golden angel, northwest. Okay, let's head right there. Probably it means the graveyard. We got the golden revolver here, the third one out of eight required. Northwest, hmm, I have already checked out Northwest, but I have found no code. Okay, let's check out the buildings here. The treasure is here, but we still don't know the code. So there's no point in checking out the treasure. First, we need the code. So let's go right back outside and try to find where the code is. It said northwest, but we didn't find anything there. Perhaps in this building. So that piece of paper probably has the code. Yes, that looks like it. Three, two, four, five, one. So with the code, let's go back out. Three, two, four, five, one. So with the treasure part, it's time to raid the bank. So let's head right there. Here is the bank. Got a few more tiles. But then we do have to come back here because there is something ahead here. Which we can't access right now. First we have to check out the bank. So let's check out the bank. Mm, that's somebody you can talk to. And robbery is happening in the bank just at the same time as we were in. I don't think it's Pedro doing that, but 
robbery has happened so let's see okay pedro was probably the nice guy he didn't want to steal money he wanted to just withdraw it but he experienced a robbery in front of him so we have to catch the robbers and come back here there are the robbers running away Sixty-four tiles, so pretty average sized. Hmm, snakes are aggressive, but Dick is not afraid of them. They are coming in the way of Dick, so as soon as Dick tries to go in their path, they block our path, and then we can do nothing. more snakes blocking our path that's not the correct path looks like we have to solve a labyrinth or something in the middle of desert this here looks like a bonus to me with that stone there let's see there must be more stones usually it's not a bonus with a single stone most of the times i have seen there are multiple stones yes there are instances of a single stone bonus but those are rare so let me just continue find more stones and if we don't find anything we can work something out with a single stone Looks like I'm really good at spotting the wrong areas. We still haven't found the correct path. Hmm, a cave. This looks like a correct path to me. And we have a second stone here. Uh, these objects, those are the ones that I think contribute to the bonus. So let me see if there are small stones. If not, I will just do the bonus and then get into the cave. Yes, we have a third stone. So let's start placing them one by one. It's very likely it's this object. Now I don't know what that object is. Perhaps some animal bones. So stones on those. And the last one down here, it's right in front of the cave, so that is a good choice for the last stone to put, then we can directly enter the cave. I will have to pull it in because I have to push it from top. Okay, there we go, a bonus, some iron. Now I don't know if the count varies or the object varies based on region. But you will find out in your region what you get. Now this is the real labyrinth, not the desert outside. Okay, looks like I am on the correct path for a change. I don't want to be on the right path because I will anyway have to go back because I dig all the tiles. So, 
interesting we will find a detour no big deal there's a hidden wall there multiple hand walls and more decisions to make and we are out That looks like a bonus note. All the stones covered bones. Uh, no, not a bonus, but this looks like a main objective thing. Anyway, stones and bones is what the note says. So this is a bone. I guess these skeletons also count as bones this and this okay that opens up a path for us secret code stuff interesting blacksmith asks for fire and spices so blacksmith asks for some fire and spices that's how you derive the code with that done, let's continue further. So oh, I have to walk a long way back for the missing tiles. Now depending on the number of tiles left, I will decide whether to do that now or in the end. For now time for another coded puzzle. The snakes, uh, snakes sleep in damp vegetation while summer hey so snakes sleep snakes sleep in a damp vegetation while summer music plays so that is the correct order um i don't have many tiles left so i think i will come back in the end for the remaining tiles here there are the robbers and one of them is going away he probably went for some toilet stuff and we have a plan if we somehow bring water there then we will trap the robber with the money or we are talking of the other robber which has went to the washroom so let's trap him right there by fixing the pipeline here Hmm, we need another piece here and that's behind the hidden wall So sounds good a wolf to turn and we have trapped that person there and it's our fortune that he cannot swim So we only have two of them to deal with now This is the way to go to them And they have detected our steps, escaped, let's follow them. Hmm. So they have left their third friend and are now deciding to get more money because it's only two of them left. Oh, one another is trapped and the third one is still running away. He might be thinking he will get too rich by keeping all the money for himself. 
but that won't happen. Ricky is going to catch him. Okay, catch a snake and throw it there. And the bank does need the money back. They are after all more concerned with the money than the robbers. I will have to push this and take it all the way to the other side. No, wait, I don't have to take it directly. I will have to load it with the snake first, which is down there. Currently the barrel is empty. Okay, barrel is loaded and we are all set to bring those robbers out of their hideout. And there he goes. He's caught. And we can get the money for the bank. Give it to the bank manager. That's probably the end of this quest though. And we're getting a reward. Probably some money that we needed to get to Oricon for the free land. Okay. He has some big plans, but we will explore those in the next location. For now, we have left a few tiles inside the cave there. So let's go dig them out. If you have already dug them up, you can continue on to the next location. The place isn't too far, right around this corner, but yes, probably some walking to do to get there. They actually seemed to have footsteps here in the cave that led to the robbers. I did not notice them at all. The color combination is not that nice to notice those steps. But we have done those tiles but we are still missing three of them. So where are those three tiles? I guess I will have to use the last tile finder. But let me just see if I missed yet another corner somewhere around in the cave. Hmm, doesn't look like the case, so I guess last I'll find that it is. Okay, I have watched an ad and refreshed the last I'll finder. Now let's see where it takes us. Somewhere back there. Perhaps where the original bank was. The manager came with us along in the desert. I had thought we had to go back to the desert. Well, I haven't found one tile by myself. Other tiles are further back there. This one was not that hard to miss, but I anyhow missed it. Now one more, which is here. So that's it for this location. 
thank you for watching see you in the next one and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet